Let's be honest, we all want to look our best as we get older, but the idea of plastic surgery can be a little scary. Fortunately, there's a new in-office, minimally invasive procedure called Silhouette Instalift with facelift-like results without the downtime or the cost of surgery. Joining us is Washington, D.C. dermatologist Dr. Tina Ulster to tell us all about it. Welcome, doctor. Well, thank you so much for having me. So what exactly is Silhouette InstaLift? Silhouette InstaLift is an FDA-cleared non-surgical lift that's great for men and women who don't want to undergo a surgical facelift. It has a dual action. It, number one, lifts the skin and also provides volume to the skin. So you do a lot of this procedure here at your practice. How exactly does it work? Well, it's a revolutionary process. First, we mark the patient's skin in the direction where we want the lift to occur. The preoperative consultation is very important, obviously, not only to prepare patients for the postoperative recovery, which is easy, um, but also just to give them a better understanding about what to expect. So how does it actually lift the skin? Well, the insulate sutures have these bidirectional cones that, when placed under the surface of the skin, actually serve to lift if you pull on them, sort of like a pulley. Uh, what's nice about these sutures is as they are incorporated into the skin, it actually causes new collagen formation, collagen being the building blocks of the skin. So that's the reason why the skin uh, looks improved in terms of its texture and the smoothness. And how long does this last? Well, the sutures themselves last about two years. Um, during that time, I think there's continued improvement of the quality of the skin, uh, and the lift lasts at least that long. The fee for Silhouette InstaLift varies by doctor, but averages $3,000 versus the average cost of a facelift at $12,000, according to RealSelf.com. How long does it take? The procedure only takes about 45 minutes from beginning to end, and what's nice is that you can use just local anesthesia. So what is the recovery like? The recovery for patients is very easy. Most people can go back to their work or regular activities right away. Uh, I ask that people not stand on their head or do heavy-duty exercise, obviously, for the first couple of days. But it's very simple. What's nice is that because these are absorbable sutures, you don't have to come back to the office to have them removed. Well, what's nice about the Silhouette InstaLift is that it's good for people of all ages, both men and women, and it really depends on the person's individual goals. We have some people who just want a little bit of a cheek lift. We have other people who want more profound tightening and lifting. I think that the Silhouette InstaLift is good for all those people, and it's important to get evaluated to see whether or not it's good for you. I think the main thing that people need to know is that they need to go to a qualified, well-trained physician who does a fair number of these. This is not something that can be done in a spa. It should not be done um, in somebody's office that doesn't do a lot of cosmetic procedures. So doing one's homework is very important. Well, I'm here with Lise, who's about to get the Silhouette InstaLift herself. And Lise, why did you decide to do something like this? Well, I turned 63 this summer, and I've been thinking ever since I turned 50 that I don't want to look old. Are you excited? Are you nervous about no. this? Oh, I want to do it. I want to get it get it going and I've, I'm just, I've heard it's really beautiful so I can't wait. One hour later, Lise has had the Silhouette InstaLift and is all ready for her close-up. What do you think of the results? I really like them and I feel like it's natural but I just look really good, just much better. It really didn't hurt at all. I mean, they put some numbing stuff and it doesn't hurt. And I've seen my face in a mirror and I'm yeah, it looks good. For more info on Silhouette InstaLift, visit Thermi.com. All right, folks, stay with us. We have more of Let's Talk Live coming up right after the break. The